Well, hello, everybody. Before we begin this exercise, I want to inform everyone that I've begun working on the server sent event videos. And I'm going to make a whole series of videos about server sent events. And I just wanted to thank you guys for all the feedback you gave me on that first video. So server sent events series is coming up next. Now in this exercise, you'll learn to program interactive keyframe animations, meaning that you allow the user to control the animation in specific ways which can be done through JavaScript event handling. We'll begin with the code that we had from the ball bounce keyframe animation tutorial. Let's go ahead and file preview in Firefox. So this animation just plays by default when the page loads and it never stops. Now you're gonna slap your sister when you see how easy this is to do. We'll just put a script element underneath the ball or you can call this script in a window on load event. But if you want to keep it simple at first, just put the script after the ball. Now there are tons of events that you can access in JavaScript for the document. I'm just going to access the click event for the ball on this ball element. And here's our little function nest that's all set up to handle the click event of the ball. Now what I'm going to do is just highlight all of this syntax for the keyframe animation and press Control X. Then I'm going to remove that property altogether from the CSS. That way this ball bounce keyframe animation is not tied to this ball element anymore through CSS. We will now tie it to the ball through JavaScript in its click event. So we'll simply type in ball.style.animation is equal to and in between double quotes or single quotes we'll put the string that's needed to make the animation start. Now let's go to File, Preview in Browser, Firefox. And now I'm going to click the ball. You can see that is what initiates the animation. It starts the animation up. Now let's say instead of the user clicking the ball itself, you want to have some controls. So let's just go ahead and put in a button. 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 Now they give the button an ID equal to whatever we want. Let's say start BTN. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and put a stop BTN. That way I'll show you guys how to stop the animation with another control. Now let's just go down here to our JavaScript. Let's take a start button ID, put it right there instead of the ball. So now this click event is added to this start button and that will control the animation. Now let's just type in the word start and for this one, stop. Now let's go ahead and file, preview in browser, Firefox, start. And you can see that starts up the animation. Now let's make this stop button work. Let's just go ahead and take this whole add event listener and function. Take the stop button, put it right here. Now the stop button has a click event listener. And what you're going to do is just remove the animation. So you say ball dot style that animation equals nothing. So let's go to file preview in browser Firefox. Start the animation. Stop the animation. Start the animation. Stop the animation. Very very simple. Now it's very important to keep in mind that JavaScript can access all type of events in the document not just click events. There's drag events, it's mouse over events, mouse out events, there's progress events, there's Ajax events, and there's all kind of stuff. So you don't have to limit yourself to just clicking buttons. You know, there's all types of events that can initiate animations to run. Now, as you guys remember, we've been saying it all along that you have to use WebKit prefix for key frame animations still. For Google Chrome and Safari. So let's just type in WebKit and down here we'll put another line in for the WebKit. And we just capitalize the A. So that's what it looks like in JavaScript. And we'll do the same thing for the stop. Now let's check this in Google Chrome. Start. Stop. Start. Stop. Okay. Now in the future you won't have to add these extra lines for the WebKit prefix. 
And honestly, I don't know what's taking Google Chrome so long. It really surprises me that they're the only really popular browser that doesn't respect the standardized syntax yet for the animations. It's weird.